thinking is really the wrong question because what it makes you think about as soon as you say what is life we tend to think of an object of a thing of a person you know of a of of, of a living object you might say rather than as a process over time and we are living our lives and we're breathing continuously and we'll be dead if we put a plastic bag on our head and and, and so on but if you're thinking about the origin of life then we need to strip away all this complexity um, and you know the, all the cardiovascular system and respiratory system that's supplying oxygen right to our cells, and um, and, and realize what that what that is is a continuous chemical reaction between uh, effectively the, the hydrogen stripped out of food and the oxygen that we're breathing in, and it's powering everything that we do all the time. And so this is the process of living over time. Um, and if we're thinking about the origin of life then we need something comparable to that, but stripping away all the complexity of the cardiovascular system and everything else. But we still need a continuous chemical reaction. Uh, and so we're, we're looking, at, I would look for places like hydrothermal vents where you've got a continuous flow, a continuous reactivity, a continuous bringing together of effectively reactive fluids, which is in some way analogous to, to breathing. Um, so... <sighs> The idea then, you know, we've stripped away pretty much all the thing that you would call life, which is to say the organism, and we've, we're, we're left with a reaction, a continuous chemical reaction. 